Hey everybody, in this video we're looking at eSignatures.io. As the name suggests, it's a platform that enables you to send contracts and documents for signature. And there's a couple of things I really like about it. So apart from really simple to use, um, it integrates with Zapier, Integromat, and it also has webhooks. So if you're looking for something to help you build out your, your workflows and automate your workflows and have e-signatures as part of that, then this is perfect. The other good thing I like about it is it's pay as you go. So no monthly contracts or fees and you just pay per document. In the video, we're going to look at using Integromat with it. But like I say, it does work with Zapier and we're going to use um, Airtable as our base, as our CRM system. But again, you can replace that with anything you like. So let's have a look at what we can do with eSignatures.io. OK, so we're logged into eSignatures.io here. So you can log in free account and you just add credit to it. So you can just add money and uh, use that as you go and then just keep topping it up. Um, so the dashboard is very simple. So the first page is a dashboard. We can see contracts that we've sent and the status of them. And we can, if we like, just send contracts from here. We can choose the template and we can just choose that and run it from here. We're going to be using Integromat. We're going to automate this process. So we'll not go through that. And you just have a little graph of here of um, sent, viewed and signed as well. So if we go to templates, you can see you have a couple of um, sample templates here, but all you need to do, create a new template, click on the button here, and it will give you a, a basis to work with. So you can just sort of cut and paste and put your own contracts and things in here, uh, give it a title, etc. And then all you need to do is drag these placeholders in where you want information. So we can see here on this one, if I just get rid of this here, you can see here we have one called custom hyphen fee and so we're going to pass that information as part of our automation into here so these are just placeholders of where you want information to go so we could say here we have client name for instance and then what we would do is just click on placeholder and call it client hyphen name and then we just pass that information to the contract when we do it um so yeah pretty simple you can add images tables format the fonts and things like that and then down at the bottom you just have this little tick box here to agree and then you can add signatures this way um so like i say very simple but this is the beauty of this and then if we just go to api as well here we can see we have um just an, an example of how you use the api if you're just going to code it but again we're using Integromat and Zapier so we don't need to worry about um, you know using this then we have the secret token so this is what you'll need to connect um, your tools to so Integromat or Zapier whatever you're connecting and you can rotate that key just bear in mind when you rotate that key it'll give you a new key and if you have anything connected to that then you'll need to replace the key in there as well and then if you like you can have a webhook here so you can just have all the information output to a webhook collect it yourself and deal with it but um, it does a nice job of, of doing that for you when you use Integromat, which we'll look at. Um, and then, yeah, menu, you just have some information here. So billing where you can add credits, um, you can add your logos, that kind of thing, um, and information you want to go on the contract. So very simple to use. So if we just go back to templates here, then um, we're going to have a look. We're going to uh, use this one, I think, the consultant agreement one. But that's that's the interface that's um, eSignatures.io. So what we'll do now, we'll jump into um, Airtable, have a look at the setup, and then we'll look at Integromat, and then we'll put it all together and just show you an automation on what you can do. So we have a very simple setup here in Airtable. Uh, we just have a client name, we have the contact name, status, begin date of the contract, how many months, consultancy is the service. And then we have a rate and the contact email address that we're going to need to send to. We also have a status modified, which is going to be um, work with Integromat for the trigger. And we have contract ID. So what we're going to do, we're going to send a contract to a client and we're going to take the contract ID that we get from eSignatures.io and store that against the, against the client here. So when we get a message back saying the contract has been signed, we will get back the contract ID that has been signed. We can come in here, look who it belongs to, and then update the status. So 
what we need to do we have the status here we have a contract here and when we change the status to send contract that is going to trigger the automation integromat that's going to take this information from here and it's going to send it to the client so let's jump into integromat then and, and set up the integromat side of things the automation and then we can trigger it all and see how it goes okay so now we're in integromat i'm going to look at creating the automation so the first thing we need to do is an air table watch records because this is the trigger it's going to watch the records in Airtable, and when something goes into this view it's going to trigger so we have a record in here send contract and if we just open this up we can have a look at how it's configured so we're connecting to my Airtable connection to the testing database in this case and the contracts table and then we have the the, the trigger field is the status modified so if we look at how that's set up so we have a field called status modified and it's just looking at the status field to see when it was last modified so when this field here gets modified i.e when we change something in here this is going to trigger it and if we go back and also when it's in the view send contract so if we just click ok on that and we right click and we choose run this module now we should get that record back and if we click on it, we can see all the information in here that we need. Um, we don't have contract ID in here yet because we're going to put that in there when the contract gets sent. So that's the trigger. And then what we're going to do, we have a create contract. So we've just connected e-signatures to this. Again, it's just a case of clicking on here, click e-signatures. And if you look on here, we have a create contact option, create contract option. And so let's just um, move back over here. So this is all it is. And if we open it up, we can see how this is configured as well. So we're in test contract mode. So you have two modes when you um, configure e-signatures. So you have test contract mode, which you don't pay for. Everyone you send, you don't pay for, but it's got demo written across the top. So it's just for testing. And then remember to turn it to live when you go live. The template so remember we looked at the different templates it's going to give you an option so we've chosen the template here and then this is where we add our placeholders so if we just go back to templates here and we look at this one i think that's the one we're using the yeah, sample consulting agreement and so remember we have client name we have the begin date we have months we have service we have rate so what we've done on here you can just add an item and you will put in the name or you'll choose the name so it's picking up the fields that you have in the template and then you just put where the values are coming from so in this instance we're get, we've got client name so we're going to get client name from um, from here and all you're doing then is just mapping the fields so the begin date we're getting from Airtable we're just mapping all these fields in here and then the signers we're getting from the contact name and the contact email address so all you need to do is just a case of you know clicking on here and selecting the right field so once you've got all your placeholders mapped with real data uh, then you're ready to go and then the last thing we're going to do when we send a contract so when this module sends a contract to eSignatures.io it's going to give us back the long string of characters which is the unique contract ID so we never need to see that it never goes to the client or anything but it enables us to track what's happening with that contract. So then finally, we just have a, an Airtable update the record option in here. So we can go back in, we go back into the record that, that triggered. So we just say the record ID is from step one. We just update the status to contract sent and we put the contract ID in, okay? So what it's gonna do is go back into Airtable here it's going to update the status to contract sent and then it's going to put the contract ID that it gets back from eSignatures.io into here that we can use later on. So let's um, let's go ahead and create a contract and watch this go then and then we'll update the status and then we can look at the next part which is when the contract gets signed. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're just going to make sure we have this all turned on now. So this is ready listening for that change. And if we go into Airtable and let's change this to send contract 
and then we should see that update run. So if we go over here, I'm just going to run this um, so we can watch it. So we can see that it, it went, it found the record, it came into here and it sent everything. So it took the information and it sent the information and then it came back into Airtable and it updated the contract ID. So it did that all in a split second. But if we go over to the um, database here, we can see now this contract is status is contract sent as we asked it to do. And we've put the contract ID in here ready um, so that when it comes back in, we can detect who it belongs to and then we can update the status again. So if I jump over to my email, we can see here now we have a contract that's sent to me and I can view and sign it. Before I do that, we'll look at the other part, which is the automation that detects when it's been signed and then updates. So let's go look at that now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is set up the, the last part of this. So remember, the first part is sending the contract, and then the second part is waiting for that contract to be signed so we can update. So what we need to do is, when we send the contract, remember we put the contract ID on. When the contract comes back to us, we need to look up the contract ID and see who it belongs to. Because imagine you may have multiple contracts going out at the same time and coming back in. We need to identify which one belongs to who. We do that by the contract ID. So... If we just click on here then, so this is our trigger, eSignatures.io, and the one we want is watch contract signed. So when the contract is signed, we're going to set something up that's just going to listen for that happening. And if we click on here, we can just create a webhook. So all you'd have to do is click add on here, give it a name, tell it it's your eSignatures connection, and what that will do will go back into eSignatures and set you up the webhook. And all it's going to do if this module here is just going to sit there listening for a contract signed. When one gets signed, eSignatures is going to send it to here, and then we're going to get the information and decide what to do with it. So let me just jump back into one that I've already done then. I just wanted to show you that first setup bit. Okay, so we've just got this bit in here, which we just connected, we just looked at. So this, this bit is the first bit, so listening for the signature to be signed. And then what we need to do is find out who that belongs to. So the way we do that, we add a Airtable search module into here. And we're just going to tell it to go into here, search the contract ID that's just been passed and find it in here. So it will find this one and identify who it belongs to. So again, testing database, contract table. And then we just have a formula in here that says, the contract ID, so this is the field in Airtable, equals the contract ID that gets sent to us. So it will look that up, find the information, and then we can update the Airtable record. So this would be the last bit here, where we say, now you've identified it, go in and change it to contract signed. So let's click OK on that, and let's turn this on. And then what we can do is we can sign the contract and we can watch that come into here. Okay, so we're back in the email here and we're gonna click on view and sign. Let's just go over here and check. So just remember this is contract sent at the moment and it should turn to contract signed. So sorry if we open this here. So we can see the information, SpaceX, we can see the term. So it, it's pulled all this information from our Airtable, client name, uh, consultancy as a service. We click on here and then the client just clicks on to sign. That's it, the client gets sent a copy of it. And if we go over to here, we just saw that happen. Let's change it to contract signed. So Integromat ran, let's just go and have a look. We can have a look in history and see exactly what happened. So we can see what happened here by just clicking on history and looking at this one here so a contract came in we don't know who it's from remember so we do have the contract at the contract id so we have the name and we have the email address in here but that's not much good to us it's not reliable enough um, because you could have the email address would identify the person but imagine they're, sent, they're signing multiple contracts this contract id is unique to that contract so it gave us that information, 
we took that information and searched for it in Airtable. It brought back the record that it found it with, and then it went back into Airtable and it just updated the status. So that's it. So we have a contract that's sent, signed, and we can just come into our Airtable and see everything in here. Obviously that would then trigger another automation. So the contract signed, you know, maybe this turns into a project or something like that. There's more tasks to do. And then we look at automating them. So that's it for the demonstration. Very simple to use, very cheap to get started. Um, so highly recommended and I hope this video has helped you. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye.